I want to give you guys my preseason top players to watch from each conference. So let's get started. Let's start with the Pac-12. LaVisca Chenault from Colorado. Powerful name for a powerful player. This kid was born to play football. You can tell, he's just an athlete. I love the effort at which he plays with at the receiver position. You just don't find kids like him hanging around. When the ball is in his hands, he is a running back. He will lower his head, he will run through you. He is seeking out contact on the field, which is absolutely insane. They even use him as a running back sometimes, where he's also very effective. When the ball is in the air, he has great hands, great vision. If it's a 50-50 ball, he's gonna come down with it. He also, to me, is a total package. Give me 10 more guys like him to start my football team. Let's switch gears over to the SEC. I had to go with a defender with the best defensive player in football, Grant Del Pitt, safety from LSU. He is the college version of Ed Reed. This kid is everywhere. When you turn on the film, you see just that. He has great range. He covers well from sideline to sideline, which is important for safety. He will come up and hit you in the run game. He's very aggressive. He's very effective when he blitzes. He is what we call a ball hawk. He's always around the ball. I can't wait to watch him in some of these big games they have this year, like against Texas, but most importantly, against Alabama. I think he's going to be a difference maker in that game. Now over to the Big Ten, Rondell Moore, receiver from Purdue. Kind of reminds me of myself a little bit, and I do believe he is the most electrifying college football player right now. He had 114 receptions and 12 touchdowns as a freshman. I didn't believe it when I first read the stat. I had to call Bruce Feldman just to double check and make sure my eyes were not playing tricks on me. To put this in context, Jerry Judy won the Blitnikoff Award with 68 receptions. Rondell Moore had almost 50 more catches than him. He's just a threat to score every time he touches the football, and he also happens to return kicks. And I feel sorry for anybody trying to tackle this kid in open space. RIP to them ankles. Let's switch gears over to the Big 12. Sam Ellinger, quarterback from Texas. Kind of reminds me of Tim Tebow a little bit with his ability to hurt you with his arm or his legs. Some people say Texas is back. If that's true, it's because of this kid right here, Sam Ellinger. He accounted for 41 touchdowns last year. That is a ton of production from one player. I think the RPO system showcases his skill set very well. He scored three touchdowns last year in the Sugar Bowl against Georgia. And he was a big part of the reason why they dominated that football game. But we're gonna learn a lot about this Texas football team early on when they host LSU at home. Big game, I can't wait to watch it. But if Texas is gonna win that game, Sam Ellinger has to play well. And last but not least, the ACC. I have to go with Trevor Lawrence, quarterback from Clemson. After what he did as a freshman, taking his team all the way to the national championship and then winning it is absolutely insane. He's a generational player. If he comes out in the NFL draft last year, I think he's the number one pick, not Kyler Murray. He showed a ton of maturity as a freshman, and I don't really see anybody in the ACC dethroning Clemson, which means a bigger and better year for Trevor Lawrence, which sounds scary. This kid is just oozing with potential, and he will be the main reason why Clemson is back in the national championship.